Oh, the game started. <laughs> Hello, guys. I am Flippy, and today I am bringing you an MCBVP Hunger Games gameplay. And I am playing as, but of course, the kit Fisherman, my all time favorite kit. I recorded this after the commentary, but right now I am coughing obnoxiously and loud into the microphone, so I just cut out this part. Okay, am I good? Am I good? Okay, I'm good. <laughs> so I spawned right next to a village at the spawn. I end up getting myself a sword real quick, and then I end up dying right off the start. But I luckily managed to find myself a swamp, so dying wasn't too bad of a thing. And there was a mini feast really near, really close to my cords. So I search around for it, and eventually I find it. So I get dirt blocks, or so I can stack up to it, because it's floating in the air. And I look in the first chest, a poison. Okay, okay, nice, nice. Second chest, nothing. Damn it, third chest, damn it. And then the fourth, fourth chest, I get another poison pot, which is pretty nice. Poison pots are really OP. But a bunch of other presents too, which nobody ever cares about. So I take out, I take the anvil with me, cause you never know when an anvil can come in handy. So this guy, I'm going back to the spawn. I don't have a compass on me, and I'm like, wait, this could be a really good opportunity for me to get a compass, cause compasses are very, very crucial in Hunger Games, as all of you must know. So now I begin to stack up on my five wooden plank stacking blocks. He has a team, and I'm just like, nope. Nope, 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 sucker. So now I'm using his own towering blocks against him. His own dirt blocks. Yep, that's the kind of guy I am. So now what happens? He jumps down and he starts pounding me and I get knocked off. And I would have died if I didn't have soups there. But I did. So I get out of that little corner there. I'm running away. He's right on my tail. He hits my tailbone right there. I soup up. I'm about to be able to not be able to sprint. So I eat a couple of soups, I soup up a little bit, I drop some dirt blocks, commentating everything I do, not really necessary, but who cares. So he begins to stack up again, and unfortunately, I miss him, I tell him to get down, because nobody likes tower people. Well, I do sometimes, but not, not these type of tower people, because they are no fun. But he stomps me, and he knocks me off. Right here, I try to resoup, I realize he's just right at me, though, so I don't have the time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. So now I begin to track him down. He is running for his life. I speed this up here because he takes quite a while. He, I get a couple hits on him here. But I don't, I'm not sure if he had soups on him. I really don't know. He probably had food and was re rehealing his hearts while he ran. But he's doing a really good job at maneuvering himself through the trees. I'm normally really good at that. But he was doing a really good job. He tries to stack up right there. But nope. Chuck that stuff. And then I hit him some more. And I see the ravine in the corner of my eye there. And I think he's going to suicide right here. But nope. Chuck that stuff. <laughs> but he, he's a stomper, I find out. So he survives. And then I soup up. And I re-soup with my convenient soups right here. And then I jump down. I lose quite a few hearts to soup up. And I go in for the kill. He is poison potted. So I know he doesn't stand much of a chance. And I take him out. And he even has a map on him. Which I find pretty cool, because maps are always useful if you know how to use them. But I don't, so it kind of sucks. So if you guys know, still remember, I am Fisherman. Fishyman. And I find a Spider-Man remnants of the cobwebs or whatever. I don't know. I can't even, can't even speak. But I take those cobwebs, I turn them into string. And I turn that into a fishing rod, so I'm pretty stoked about that. And now I meet up with a sub. Oh, wait, no, he wasn't a sub, actually. He was telling me that I was in one of BBH's Babble Halo's final two videos. But I'm pretty positive I'm not, because that's a series I really like and I always watch. So I'm pretty sure he's lying. But anyways, we just team anyway. So to my left, there's a guy in full iron. Oh, you haven't even seen it. There he is. <laughs> and I fishing rod him so I'm like oh he's done for if he just chases after me I can just own him and look he's gonna fall fall damage right here boom Boop, nope <laughs> I don't know what I was trying to do there obviously that's not gonna kill him but oh well he asked for help mr. 
M M underscore man two thousand. I hate I hate underscores personally. Like if you see if I see an underscore, I'm just uh, it gives me it gives me shudders. But I guess I guess it's okay sometimes. Like I don't I don't really mind. But right there, I get full iron, so I'm very happy. I even get the boots to complete my set. And feast is about to happen really soon, so I run back. Random fire right there. I don't know why, how, how, or why that's there. But I protect, I protect my friend, and I start attacking Doctor Underscore Ops. <laughs> Actually, it does kind of make your name sound a little bit more epic. And there's this guy out of the corner of my eye. I didn't even see, but he's getting the chest, and I just fishing out him out after a few fails, and I kill him so easily. Probably was low on hearts, didn't have any soups. And I try and shift click things out of my inventory when I'm standing right in a pile of garbage. So that doesn't really work out. I take the insta damages because they're awesome. And then I know my friend's not going to need help right here. Or not my friend because he did something really mean in the future. You'll see. But I ask him for the TNT. He gives me TNT which I'm pretty happy about. But then this hacker. This hacker XX11XBen or 11X whatever. I don't know your name and I don't want to know your name ever. Actually I will because... I'm probably going to report you and ban you, but, um, <laughs> yeah, there is a hacker, and he's destroying us. I tell him I'm recording and leave now or get reported. I'm going to report him regardless. I just don't want to lose the game. So then this guy, I don't know why he keeps running. He runs through that, like, loot pile a couple times. I don't know why. But then I start to attack him. Boom, boom, boom. He is not interested in fighting. I only have two soups in my hot bar, so I don't know. There's really not much to fear if he turned around and fought. I wouldn't stand much of a chance. But here, I shift-click my stone pickaxe, but I realize, no, I want the enchantment table. And even though he's right there, I just start getting it, and I take it right there. I don't know why I just did that, but... Anyways, he starts to attack me. I look in the chest. Ooh, five cobwebs, and bow and arrow, nice. So I poison pot him, because I am in trouble. I don't have any soups left. He almost knocks me into that ravine, but obviously, luckily, I don't. And look... An enchanted book. I love enchanted books because they're so rare. So then I finally get to and flame one. Oh, very nice. The thing is, with an anvil, you can you need like a certain amount of levels so you can enchant with a enchanted book, which I really don't like. Like if I wanted to make my bow flame one with that book, I would need like six levels, which I really don't like. I think the people are hungry as like the redstoner and everyone who does all that stuff should change that because. I don't think you should need levels. Maybe one. One at the very most. So now I find this team of three. I am really scared, of course. I put a stacking box in my inventory like a little scaredy cat. Organize my inventory, which definitely helps me in a little while. So now I'm so scared. I'm I'm just so intimidated because three full iron is pretty scary. Even though there's two partially diamond armor guys. So now I begin to stack up because I'm really scared. My intention is for them to all be at a, in a pile right underneath my tower, and I can just insta-pot them like I do here, except trying to kill them, which I don't do. So I know this guy must be very low, so I just try and take him out real quick, even though I don't have any soups ready. But he survives, so now I know he has soups, and I know, well, I don't know for sure, but I can assume that his teammates have soups, so now I know I need to be much more careful and play a lot more defensive. So I take out my fishing rod, I try and lure them to this ravine, and I fishing rod the first guy, I'm like, oh, he's so done, I'll just jump over this, I'll just jump over this ravine, and they'll pull him right in, oh, nope, he wasn't on my line anymore, uh, I lost him, so I try and get this guy, but I miss right there, I don't even look by, because I knew it was a bad try, so now I see a lava pit, oh, lava pits are always nice, so I try and get them to follow me to it, which they do, of course, and then boom, you're on my line, Oh, he's done for, he's done for, he's in the lava, and nope, I fail. It looks like he was about to jump right in the lava, but somehow he manages to stop at the last second and protect himself from falling in. So now my teammates are asking where I, where I am, but I don't have time to type, because obviously I am on the run for my life. And this guy's right behind me, and I'm like, okay, I'll try again. Attempt number two. That was a pretty good jump. He falls in. Oh, is he de he's not dead. Oh, he's not dead. And I realize he's halfway down. So I pull him back up. I hit him back in. And he still doesn't die. I, mean, I was pretty mad about that. I was expecting a death right there. I ask for help. Even though I'm, I'm really not in too much trouble, I just get pretty scared pretty easily. So now I see a perfect opportunity to pull him in. And I do. He falls in right through the middle of it. But, of course, he doesn't die. And the creeper, of course, doesn't blow up. Doesn't help me out any bit. 
not go back to attack the rest of the teammate because yeah there's only one teammate on the surface but wait the other guy stacked down others too and I'm like oh no what am I gonna do I can't take them both on because I'm bad so now I, I take a glance and make sure he's not stacking up and I realized that they were taking me away from their ravines then I wouldn't have that advantage of pulling them in so I begin to PvP and I should keep Max away, so I'm like, wait, do they have soups? I am not sure. I don't see this guy souping at all, so I keep on attacking him. I go in for the last hit before I ran, and somehow I killed him at, at my last swing. That, that was pretty lucky. I wasn't expecting that kill at all. I, I tried fishing on him right here. I don't. I fail. I Ender Pearl away, which I don't get. I don't know why Ender Pearls don't work in Hungry Games half the time. When it seems like whenever you're in danger, they never work. I tried fishing on him, but I miss. I'm fishing on him again. Oh, yeah, there we go. And I try again. Attempt number two. Perfect. He falls in. But nope. Chuck this. <laughs> no. But he falls in but doesn't die, sadly. And this guy, my teammate, he scared the living belugas out of me. I was pretty scared. I thought I was going to get pounded and then get knocked in that ravine. I didn't have any soups ready, so I definitely would have been done for. Oh, I have a little rose in my inventory. That's cute. Oh, oh, oh. So now, my, te he, my teammate, he's just behind us, so this guy, he stacked that. The other guy I knocked in. I thought he was going to jump in the ravine, but he doesn't do that. I try and fishing on him. He is too far ahead, and he is running for his life, but no. No, 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 no. I'll catch up eventually. And I get him on my fish on right there. I didn't know what to do. I couldn't jump in the ravine, because then I would die too. But then he turns right towards my lava pit, so I'm like, oh, perfect. Oh, nice. I'll just get him right in that lava right there, but no, I mess up. And I try and hit him in, I fail, I try again, I fail, and then he one hits him. <laughs> I could have killed I probably could have killed him too really easily, but I was getting too focused on the lava. So now there's only one of those teammates left. And then my friend, or well, my friend, my sub, whatever, all my subs are actually wait, he's not even my sub. Okay, this guy, M Man two thousand, he jumps in. And then I start to, even though I told him not to because I wanted to get the kill. <laughs> I was kind of selfish. I wanted to get the kill. But he jumps in anyway. And I try and drop TNT in the other guy. But I don't succeed. I, I, but I did manage to make him back up. So then a man was able to resoup. So I probably saved his life right there. And here's another, another, here's another, here's another, here's another cool advantage of Fisherman. I saved him in the time of snacking up. And I pulled him straight up. So now we are going after Capo 12. I have a lot of TNT. I'm really dying to use it. I just wanted to make a huge like bomb right here and just mine down to him with TNT. But I don't end up doing that. I tell my friend to crouch. My fr Whatever. You're my friend. I'm just going to call you my friend for now. <laughs> I tell my friend to crouch. And then what? This glitch happens. I don't know what happened. If an admin or a coder or any of you guys are watching this, try and fix that. I don't, I don't it's not too big of a problem because that's the first time it happened to me. But I just got teleported or something. I don't know what happened. And the other guy said, yep, the other guy. Okay. <laughs> the other guy said it happened to him the other game. And I could have killed him right here. He kind of startled me. But I was dying to use his TNT, so I'm trying so hard. But he is pounding the crap out of me, so I just take him out because I just I knew I was very close to dying so there's only one guy left he says in chat I can quit the game and leave it to you too and then we're, I'm like oh please sure let's do it come on because I was scared he was gonna be deep in the ground but then he says too bad so I got a I got a good kick out of that I was laughing for, laughing for quite a while so now I'm just messing around with him and then he he says fruit you semen suckers and then what happens what happens he combat logs and is out of the game. Boom. So that was only me and M Man left alive. So now I'm just messing around right now. I'm just shooting these arrows on this cobblestone block above me. And then what does he do? I don't know why he do this. Why do, why he do this? Why he do this? But he dumped it, lava right on my block, right on top of me. And then he starts attacking me. I don't know what his problem was. That this is why I can't call him my friend because he was doing this to me and he was trying to kill me. Luckily, he didn't hear. I told him to stop. He said okay. So this is why I can't call you my friend because you were doing this mean things to me. So I was asking him, well, why would you do that? And now I'm just doing the same thing. He starts to 
troll me a little bit, taking my arrows, and he, he won't give them back. He was really annoying me by that. So now I'm making a little fun thing that we can do just to see who the winner is. A uh, completely fair game. And then he drops a cobweb on here to blow it up and to try and kill me. So he starts to pounding me. He threw the first hit. And I managed to knock him in there, which I'm like, oh, perfect. I'll just TNT him because I love TNT. I want to use it any chance I get. So now I go to place more and boom, I kill myself with my own TNT. So if you guys enjoy, please drop a like and comment. And thank you guys for watching. Also, if you guys haven't seen my Hunger Games in real life trolling video, then definitely check that out. That was a lot of fun to make, and you guys definitely enjoyed watching it. I'm probably going to record another one again this weekend, and I have a really great idea in mind, so I'm really looking forward to that. So again, if you guys enjoyed, please drop a like and comment, and thank you guys for watching. See you later. Horses.